Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This one is a recent game that I've played. I've been a few people asking for recent games that I've played, so... Here is one. It's a 4v4 on Precipice. Which has got this big kick-ass river going through it, and then just two areas of land. So on my team we've got Kick here, we've got myself as the Rebels. We have Russian Blunt here as Republic. Frost is the Empire, and then on the other side, facing him, we've got Risk on the Confederacy. Cal on the Rebel Alliance as well. Lucky Ashman on Republic, and Empire for Attack Lives. So that's the mirrored random feature off of Ubli, so all of the civs are the same for each team. So on this map, a lot of huntable animals, I think, some nerfs and stuff. Plenty of stuff to get you into T2. I'll speed it up a little bit to get through the early game. Getting the nurse in the nursery, blurring the Jew back. Bit of the distance there, had a bad time. And there's these crossings that people will want to wall off and then just go tech level 3. Just get the tech up, get started on the booms and stuff. It's a very uh, late game orientated map because of that. Not too much room for rushing on this one. Find a few more nerfs up in the corner there. Should we be able to get another nursery? Before we get a carbon processor. It's about 14 nerfs or so. Tends to be extra ones kicking about on precipice. Usually like in the corners or up against the edge of the map or such. It's going to be a while before we see any sort of uh, plans from people. Biggest action will be people getting chased by beasts at the crossings, like Kick here. Already got a damaged worker, but I think it'll be a tusk cat. They're not. They're not too bad. Rancors, on the other hand, that's a bad time. But nobody getting hit with the uh, the classic crossing rancor. So you see, what people normally like to do is wall it at the furthest point to try and deny your opponent being able to wall it. Because when you enter T3, you enter the mid-game there, you could effectively turn this into a gate, delete one of the prefabs, and then you've got access into their side of the map. And because of the way that the shallows and the land works, you can't really build a prefab on this little bit here. You would have to use walls. Something about the way that shallows and the normal terrain overlaps, it just sort of denies you building across it. Getting two carbon processors there, buffing up the uh, the carbon income. Learning a Philumpuset, it's probably one of the last things to lure. And then we'll have to get on the berries. There's two little nerfs just chilling there as well. Lucky Ashman got a lot of nerfs. That looks like uh, my boy Risk got house there. Seven workers building a prefab. That's got to be a rage prefab shelter. So we're hitting T2 here. Get some buildings down. Looking to tech up. I think we are a bit ahead of a lot of people. Probably just getting the the lure early, combined with the extra nerfs as well. We're going to go into the ore, because we're rebels, we want to get that fort up as soon as possible, so we can get speeders out and pretty much decide that no one will be building any strike mechs. Because they're so goddamn strong. See Lucky Ashman being hunted down by Frost Scout, the most annoying alarm you will ever experience. This is peak GBG content right here. Look at him go. So look at Ashman's got troop center. Not really too sure why. As the pocket as well. I really don't know what he's doing. This looks like someone who thinks he's going to get like mounted or something. Seems like a bit of a, a bit of a waste here. 
they missed any I'm surprised he's on farms already. Doesn't look like he's missed any hunt. Strange. That's gonna slow him down. But at least if he gets hit with air he'll be able to make anti air troopers. So everyone's hitting T3. We've got our air base and we've got our fort built now. So we're gonna make speeders and fighters. So I bounce them together. So you risk harassing us with a scout. Very easy clean up for an air speeder though. As we fly across the map, looking to put some pressure on the people who have tanked. Well, after us. See anti-air turret being built here in power core. It is going to go up though, I'm going to have to pull away. Won't be able to get any kills from that bit. But there's other areas of the base because it's super hard to have two turrets right away unless you've been on ore. So he is going to have to dance his workers around for a little bit until I get bored and go somewhere else. I think we did have the rally point set here though, so we're going to have to do a bit of panic micro probably to pull air away. Except we were being quite diligent with it. I'm maybe going to go visit the pocket now. So we force the turret and force some worker redistribution there. And see what we can do against Lucky Ashman. We sort of sim city, there's Nova workers into oblivion here. So they're definitely going to be dying. Uh, fighter unfortunately pops out at that exact moment. It gets taken down as well. But six or so workers have been killed. Quite a good haul. Geonosium warrior here from Risk. Looks like it's killed so many workers here. Looks like he tried to build the anti-air turret and committed to it. There's like many, many corpses around that. Russian Blunt coming over here to help him out. Oh, and again. This is horrible. I think he's maybe killed like 20 workers. Just with one geo, two geos. Devastating. Looks like we caught some air there. Killed that. A lot of anti air mobiles out here for Cal. There's rebels. I think it'd be better to just build his own air. Strange choice. And we've got Russian Blunt flying across now as well. I think we may be ready to settle down. Calm the harassment down a bit and focus on ourselves and getting ourselves up the tech level. These workers try to build this prefab shelter. Getting scared away. Uh, Kick's got a Geonosi Moria flying around. He does get caught there, only gets one worker. That Russian Blunt coming in here and getting some worker kills as well, potentially. And Risk still looking to kill workers with these geos. Takes two shots now. He's gonna have to fly away. These guys could get could get the uh, the geo dick as it were here. Very vulnerable. I think the turret maybe reached just about here or so. Oh god damn! What is the range of turrets? Maybe it's like here. Oh, it does a plus two. a strong turret. And Russian Blunt clearing up that geo for him. I think things are settling down a bit now. Lucky Ashman flying some air across. Maybe looking to do a bit of counter-attacking. Got quite a few command centers down now, just pumping out the R2D2s as we can. Some anti-air troopers from Lucky Ashman. So he's grabbing the hollows. I think there's three on this side of the map and just two on the other side. So it'd be quite good for him as Republic. A lot of uh, Nova income. Okay, 
Okay, only on the two command centers. It's built a lot of buildings here. Sith Temple, air base, fort. Got one of everything. Ping the hall to someone. It's all very chill now. Looks like Cal's gonna go T4. That's a very strange way he's played with these anti airmobiles and turrets and stuff. And then in the end, he's going T4 air off of it. He's gonna have to build tons of fighters there to sort of catch up, as it were. Because we've already got this much air out already, almost T4. What we'll be looking to do is just trim the worker counts on the other side of the map and just make sure our team's ahead and then transition into something else. Because I don't want to sit and make air all game. I want to be able to have something on the ground, something substantial that we can push with and put static defense and sort of conquer territory as we go. The air is a sort of support unit. A lot of time people get baited into just building fighters all game. And then their wings get rolled 2v1 on the ground or so. Because they've got some turrets or some anti airmobiles with upgrades and homing so that the shots don't miss, just stopping the air from ever engaging. So we come on here to attack, kill some workers. We haven't got shields just yet, we're just trying to get some damage in. Shields will be soon, I imagine. 87, you know, 90% now. So we've got these sensor posts, that can certainly see where we are at all times. Good vision for them. Map hacks. So Cal looking to build more anti-air, but we're just going to try and kill as much as we can. You can see he's got his own air now. Doesn't have uh, shields, but we don't really want to take a trade. Because we don't really want to build more air, we just want to keep this alive. There's speeders in here too that we want to really lose. Just want to kill what we can as we go and force the most extreme reactions out of our opponents. Of course, we make tons of turrets, tons of anti airmobiles, things like that, and then we can transition into something else. See, we're not really trying to fight them, we're just trying to kill things. We don't want his hair hitting our teammates either, so if it's chasing us, that's fine. We're just sort of kiting here. I think we'll eventually just have to take the trade, though. Right, we can maybe fly him into extra fighters. I think we'll make a little bit more just to replace what we've lost. We do see that he's like going to commit big to it as well, so we might get a bit more fighters than we do usually intend. You see we've got the troop centers dropping down, starting to transition out of this. The other side of things is very quiet. These guys are still not quite into into the game yet. See a fort going down here for risk. Kick starting to rally things at the border. Attack's already set up with a shield. He's uh he's waiting to hold this. Got a cheeky wall there as well. And here. The Eternal House. Thank you. A lump there. We missed that. Or is that one of those ones on the edges. Let's kick reaching tech level four. As I said, a bit quiet. Not too much going down. And Cal just building air. Recovering, I guess. Some heavy weapons factories for rescue. Using all those idols that we're munching down this over. 
some troop centers, so we'll be looking to get that standard uh, Confederacy army with the troopers and the artillery. We're starting to build up some mounties, I think, to get through here. So mounties and fighters, and then we'll maybe get some troop centers set up on the other side and start pumping out repeater troopers. This tends to be the best thing to do with rebels since their troops are so strong. All that extra health and such. So a couple of mech destroyers sitting on each side, just yelling at each other, insults back and forth across the river. Won't be looking to fight each other for quite a while. There's Cal's air now. Doing a bit of raiding on Frost, who's definitely been having the worst time this game. But there is air as well from Russian Blunt. So you can maybe deal with this, take up that pressure since it's his wing. And we can focus on and getting going. Waiting an eternity for Kick to delete his houses so we can get onto this wall. It's been upgraded to heavy walls now. Be a real problem if it goes into shield walls. Unfortunately, bloody patrol, they will not go on the wall, they need to be clicked. A few idols that needed to get sorted out, and then these guys need to be clicked on the wall. Frost just getting his military infrastructure up now. There's risks pumping out the artillery, anti airmobiles and such. There we go. Cannon getting involved as well. The Mountaineers are pretty good against the walls. Kill them fairly quickly. And we're going to run in here. We bring the air as well. Cal again raiding. We don't really want to pull our air to go deal with that. Leave that up to Russian. I want them here to support the Mounties as we go for this push now. Some houses going down just on patrol there. So we need to come across and try and get on top of uh, the tax production here. He's actually got repair troopers out, which is really good for him here against these mounties. And then with the air coming in for Lucky Ashman as well, I think we'll have a, an okay time just holding this position. Kick building an awful lot of anti airmobiles before he's got anything else. I don't think they've really got anything to protect right now. As they are now shield walls, 3000 health with a 3000 shield. But we have at least gotten across before that's happened, so... Hopefully Kick will join us soon. And that will be too much for them to deal with. On the other side of things, we've got Risk pushing across the crossing. Not really too much anti-air with this army, though. So if Russian brings his air, he could maybe kill it off. So we get the shield up here. Cannon. Pulling what we can across. Ah, we can see the air did come over, killed the two anti airmobiles. Here's Cal now, though, that will be sp supporting the army. And Risk will have to start making much more anti airmobiles. That's definitely bought Frost some time to get the shield generator up and just try as he can to stop the army crossing. Still pushing up here, and building out the air turrets as well, so we don't need to have our air babysit the troops. One day, Kick will cross the the Rubicon. One day. It's just sitting on the crossing, fighting into a shield. Not 
not the best. Just need to throw everything across and just grab the land and get a shield down. Not been any air cruisers on the go yet. Ping and kick and asking him to uh, please join in. We're having a really annoying time attacking into here. To be honest, in hindsight, I probably should just went took up more land than this. Hand. Sort of tunneled on this a little bit. I think because we just expected Kick to come across, but he's uh, getting slowed down by these shield walls. And on the other side of things, they have made it across a little bit. An air cruiser for uh, risk here as well. Making a salt mix. Really bad trade though with this shield and no shield. It was a master. Convert the cannons. Could kill this one, hopefully. Yeah. Has made it across now. Seems to pull the rest of his units across. For some reason, there's three repeaters just sitting at the trade from risk. I don't know how they've gotten there. I think he's just walking in. Oh, he's, oh I see. I see. I wondered this for a long time during the game, why this was even happening. Made a little boat and put some troop centers down to be annoying. You can see him running about in the frost seco, killing off workers with the troopers. We're still rallying our troops across. Attack or die's base is uh, worse than any war zone region you might find in the Middle East. Kick's definitely across now. No shield as it yet. I think a shield and some turrets would be good just to guarantee he holds the position. A lot of mech strikes for, or mech factories for Cal. Yeah, it's just <laughs> rallying on to the, uh, the crossing, just all bunched up. Uh, it looks like Frost has shut this down now with his heavy strike max. Which would be so strong for him against this composition. Russian Blunt getting his troopers in here as well to support the awesome Empire max. And air coming across from Cal there. And we've not got the, the highest uh, fighter count at the moment. We'll be cleaning up some air from Russian Blunt as well. As we were sort of pushing into the centre with our troops now. Killing an awful lot here. Fighters getting on the troopers now. Some troopers from Risk as well. So everyone getting involved on holding this part of the base. Really pushing us back a bit. So I think we're trying to get a trade set up now. And transition into a more like Food Nova Eco. So we can maybe spam some of the, the juicy units. Jedi's and ACs and such. So, looking at this game from a perspective of you know how how do we win? This was quite a scary thing to be looking over at now and again, worrying that these guys are just going to completely get rolled over. So I had the original intention of making these anti-air turrets here, and maybe having a, a little gang of air cruisers that would just come in you know from an angle, like here and we'd be too hard to potentially just commit to with air, so we could maybe control the crossing for them and help them out in that regard. Because we sort of breached our side. The kick is losing a bit and getting pushed back a tiny bit. We did lose a lot of troopers here, but we just wanted to be able to stall this side and help them out. I 
However, I don't think I really went through with it because uh, I went to have some fighters here but because I lost them to Cal's fighters over here I felt I had to probably bring them back over now. And I believe kick on comms made it things look worse than they were for himself here. And I think I did pull these across over to our side of the map. It's the air catching a lot of the traders there, it's really bad for them. Yeah, it's because we started getting all these troops as well from so it's like 4v2 on this side at the moment. So you see how that's me pulling them across now, I'm like, oh fuck. No. But, it does sort of do the same thing when they come across here and start putting pressure on this side. It relieves pressure here, so you can see that Blunt and uh, Frost are starting to push in a little bit now. They're feeling a lot more confident here. So it's not too bad. But what could have been the fun uh, AC abuse at the angle? Kick hasn't quite built on this side yet, so if he does like get pushed back, he's just gonna loot. He's stuck at a crossing again. AC shots. Policing those troopers a little bit. Just trying to make sure they don't get overwhelmed with the fighters. I see Frost and Blunt actually making it quite far across there. Thirteen range anti-airmobiles, though. Scary stuff. It's kind of coming back across, but it is really just troopers into strike mechs and assault mechs. Not too much artillery. But we're we're set up to hold this area. We've got a lot of shields, a lot of turrets. We do have one AC here. Might just. Throw him in, take a shot. What's up? We're sort of cat now, so. Three workers, 196, maybe a little bit too many workers. I need to kill some of the carbon workers, I think, since all these traders have taken up too much of the population. Air cruiser's taking up a fair bit as well. So I'm sending some speeders around to try and get kick back in action here. So I've lost a shield here on this side. I was sort of pushing forward, but some of those artillery are walking a bit too far forward before taking a shot. Rebel mech's not the strongest. It's assault mech's very strong against this composition. There's some air cruisers. I'm gonna start pushing a just a tank ground in here. So we can hit the turret without the turret hitting us. We can just clip it in range with the attack ground. We want the turret down so we can come and shoot the uh, assault mechs with speeders. This kick's really taking a, a lot of damage here. And they have hell on this side, but things are looking better and better for Russian Blunt and Frost here in terms of what they've got built up on the border. Here comes the air from Carl, looks like it's caught the air cruisers. But it's going to take some heavy losses from the turrets. So it's not too bad. I think we're maybe going to tech switch into something else anyway. It comes we just need to kill these assault mechs for kick. There's another turret we put down. And kick's just sort of rallying into his death here. Not quite got production on this side of the map.
another fort. I think we're trying to get a lot more speeders out. I'm trying to not have kick lose the crossing. Just throwing these units away. I think we're just going completely off the troopers now. Freeing up population. Big push from uh, Cal and Risk here. Killing a lot of stuff from the edges. They did lose their shield again though. It's huge from the cannons. The cheeky one man fort, let's go. The only survivor. Oh, he's got a friend. So an air cruiser here, try and stall a bit longer. You see Kicks had to retreat back into his own border. In this area we can get the speeders though. See anti-air troopers killing an air cruiser. Rare sight. Oh! Frost seems to be online with some assault mechs now though. That's huge for them on this side because they're so tanky. You look at the difference in HP between them and the rebel ones. Over a hundred. Some Jedi here from Lucky Ashman try to steal the turrets. Gonna have to delete them. I don't want them shooting my own air. Unfortunately, we didn't have any troopers left at this point, so I don't think Grenadiers are the greatest against them. Some big AC shots here from Risk. That's a bit of a massacre there for Frost. A lot going down. But they are kind of shook on this side. Some more stuff from Cal though. The air is not going to let the Mounties do too much. They're going to have to find a way to clip these down. So I think we've done a bit of a tech switch here now into Jedi. Many temple have been made. And we're a little bit at a disadvantage when it comes to the Jedi because they've got Republic on the Jedi who can convert ours. So we just we just want to avoid him. We want to be annoying and just avoid his Jedi. Maybe do a bit of conversions here, slow this down a bit. But what we can do is just run into the bases and start converting important things. There's a lot of strike mechs as well, but when you do strike mechs and assault mechs like this, it means when your assault mechs get converted, you can't kill them too quickly. <laughs> so they actually become a massive hindrance. You see how many shots they tank from the strike mechs there. It's really bad for the army. It's, uh, I do prefer mech destroyers most of the time and just bounty hunters. Because that way anything gets converted, it just gets sort of one-tapped with the mech destroyers. So these boys still pushing across here. It's starting to break with these air cruisers. My turrets are actually coming in massive there. I just shot one of them. Definitely limiting the area. This is kind of like, they want to go in here. Lean on this side, right, when you cross. So converting those like, AT, ATs has really uh, helped out there. Kicks pushed back across. And we are on it. So we need to shut down their trade. So what we're going to do is convert the spaceports. But we do need to delete them as well. Because you can trade with uh, an enemy player spaceport. So let's uh, convert them and then delete them. I'm going to get this anti-air turret as well, it would seem. Which is really nice. Make it harder for them to defend those locations. So I think Cal might have lost his fighters or misplaced them somewhere because we're getting a lot of kills here. Oh, here they are. Just thought they lost a lot here. You see, Russians gotten some troop centers over here as well. Kicks fucking artillery is hitting the bloody walls right now. Converting these pummels. to 
clear a lot of the stuff up here. Not sure what he did with the uh, the air cruisers. Maybe lost them to fighters. Kick's still rallying to his death. Like the uh, Jedi have found the other side of the uh, the trade. I mean, when they got so much committed to the crossings and stuff, it's hard to have to go and chase these guys down. It's a really awkward time in the game for them to deal with Jedi. And losing the trade as well, like because you're trading a lot of units into one another, you're very reliant on that Nova income at this point. It's a really bad time to be losing the spaceports and having to uh, rebuild it, re-micro all the traders. Another holding here and they're holding here. In the middle, it's completely open and they're cut off from one another. You can see Russians just running through with troopers as he can in air, doing some damage. While Frost tries his best to just stall and delay. To rebuild the spaceports, remicro everything. I think they've converted a lot of anti air turrets along the way as well. It's complete anarchy. The strike mechs running around trying to hunt the Jedi down. Bounty hunters. And we're just going to keep, just keep spamming them. We've got tons of Nova. We'll just keep throwing them into their economy until they lose. Grab a bunch now and pull them over here. Try and help kick. Poor Frost has lost so much here. He's doing a great job. Let's convert what we can. Seem to try to wall the anti air turrets in. Okay, getting some assault mechs now. I think Lucky Ashman's probably stealing some of our Jedi here. But we'll just make more. See how deep Russian Blunt's getting into Cal's base now. See, there's another little group on a secret mission. We just have a look. See, there's traders that are idle, there's bounty hunters just standing around everywhere as well. Told Kick to be careful because he is going to get a bit more Jedi than he would have taken mine since he switched to Assault Max now. But it does look like the team's really starting to fall apart now. See, the, see what I mean? <laughs> it's just all the way down the trade, there's just things. But we're still sneaking around, doing what we can. Try wall turrets. Little groups, secret missions, and I think they've they've had to take a breather. They've stopped pushing now and just sitting on this side of the map. The kicks really getting forward now, and there's not too much to to meet them here. Just flown into that turret. I have told Frost to push now as I send in the speeders and send the Jedi from the flank. Start converting everything. So I've seen that moment of weakness and we should make it across. And we've got Russian coming in as well with his troops. So it's like a big flank of that army breaking that position. I think that should really be it. Quite a fun game, as these can be, since it's almost guaranteed late game most of the time. See rest try to hold on from this side, but there's a, there's a lot. The GG being called from Carl. And that's everyone dropping out now. And that's it. 
So if you enjoyed that one, make sure to give the channel a, a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. All the engagement helps it grow, helps other people find it. And you and them can join us on the GBC Discord that you'll find in the uh, the links in the description. And you'll find a link to Vubly as well, which is where you can launch the game in widescreen, where there's tons of patches that improve the stability of the game and just make it a lot better for you know the modern day on Windows. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.